Saturday in the octave of Easter. First reading is taken from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 13 to 21. After the miracle of healing of the crippled man, many began to believe in the mighty name of Jesus. So the authority called them by and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. Witnessing Christ with all our conviction is an experience. The conviction of Jesus comes from the first hand experience with the Jesus who overcame death. The priority is God. It's no more human concerns. Think of those fearful disciples of Jesus who were not ready to believe in the reality of Christ's resurrection. Mary Magdalene witnessed Christ's resurrection to the disciples, but they did not believe. Jesus rebukes the hardness of the disciples' heart. Prayer is the key to letting God grow within. He is there speaking to us and calling us to believe. Every time we doubt or harden our heart, we expose that tiny flame of the elements. But every time we intensely focus upon that flame, we enable it to grow and take hold. Praying, listening, seeking, loving and believing are the ways to the faith. God wants to bestow upon us. And if the apostles would have just let the, that gift of faith planted deep within grow by a softening of their hearts, they would have quickly and easily believed that Jesus was alive without having a need to see him with their own eyes. Reflect today upon the fact that we do not see the resurrected Christ in a physical way, but we do have the same ability as the apostles to know and love him. What are you doing every day to let this love and knowledge of Christ grow in us? Jesus said to them, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. As Christians, how do we fulfill this missionary command of Jesus? We are called by Jesus to be missionaries in our families, in our neighborhood. Tell everyone your faith in Christ and what Christ can do for you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, make each one of us missionaries according to your will, that we may witness you with our life. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.